Welcome to Fabelix. You are now about to hear the story, The Mystery of the Virus Pirates. What actually happens when you catch a cold? Why does it suddenly tickle in your nose, and why do we start coughing? It all has to do with tiny, invisible invaders we call viruses. But don't worry, I'm taking you on an exciting journey of discovery through the world of viruses and colds. Imagine viruses are like little pirates, but so tiny that you can't see them without a microscope. These pirates are always looking for a ship they can board. In this case, the ship is your body. They want to enter your cells and bury their treasures there. But your body is clever and has many defense strategies against these pirates. When a virus enters your body, for example, when you breathe in or when you touch something and then touch your face, it starts its attack. The cold viruses particularly love to invade the cells of your nose and throat. Once they're inside, they start to bury their treasures, or in scientific terms, their own copies. Your body doesn't like this at all. It immediately starts countermeasures. Imagine your body had its own police, the immune system. This police has many different helpers, some of them recognize the invaders and inform the rest of the team, others help fight the viruses. A typical sign that this battle is underway and your body is working hard to fend off the viruses is coughing or sneezing. Why do we actually cough? Coughing is a rapid explosion of air from your lungs. Imagine a little cannon boat trying to brush away the pirates. By coughing, your body tries to expel the viruses and remove them from your airways. The viruses like this because then they can attack other people. That's why you should always sneeze into your elbow. But that's not all. Do you know why your nose runs or why you might get a fever? The runny nasal secretions are like the sea around the ship attacked by viruses, it washes some of the pirates away. And fever? It's kind of like heating for your body, by warming up, it makes it harder for viruses to multiply, kind of like trying to play pirate on a wobbly boat. Pretty difficult. Now you might be wondering, but why can I catch a cold over and over again? That's because there are many different types of cold viruses, almost as if there were different gangs of pirates, and each time you meet a new gang, your immune system has to learn again how to fight this particular group. So what can you do to fight these little pirates? First, washing hands helps enormously. Imagine how by doing so, you knock little invisible planks out from under the pirates' feet so they can't even board your ship. Second, Eating healthily strengthens your ship's crew i.e., your immune system so it can fight better. Third, getting enough sleep gives all sailors in body time to recover from sword fights. And what happens if despite all this a few of those cheeky pirates get through? Then it's time to grab a blanket, drink tea, and give the immune system time to win the battle. So now you know more about these tiny invisible intruders called viruses and what happens in body when you catch a cold. It's like a big battle between body immune system, the good protectors, and virus pirates trying to board, ah I mean, enter your body. So next time you cough or have a runny nose remember that this is all part of great adventure inside your very own body where you're quite brave. Thank you very much for listening. On our app Fabelix for Android, you will find a text comprehension quiz about the story, and you can also easily create your own stories. See you soon.